Now let's check out the compost heated greenhouse here at Commonwealth. So this is our beloved greenhouse. We use compost as a supplementary heat source to keep it warm, particularly at night. There are many different ways to build a greenhouse and we're not going to go into greenhouse design in this video, but I want to point out some key factors that are necessary for our greenhouse to function with compost as the heat source. So first off, of course, is, is using the sun. So like any greenhouse, we're trying to maximize solar gain. We've built the greenhouse where it gets full daylight, morning to, to late afternoon, early evening. We also have um, covered it with plastic and done a really tight seal. Because we are using a compost pile where we can't just turn up the thermostat, the heat we get is the heat we get and that's it, we have to make sure that we maximize that heat use. By making a really tight greenhouse where there's not air gaps, we're able to actually accomplish this using compost as our only heat source besides, of course, the sun. The sun does a great job of heating up the greenhouse during the day, but as soon as it starts, the sun starts to go down and starts to cool down outside, all that heat starts to leave through the plastic. So we've, we're trying to minimize heat loss um, by having a north wall that's heavily insulated, in our case, with straw bales. So this is our north wall. We don't get any light through the north wall. We just get light from the south in the east and the west. So it doesn't hurt us to make this a, a thick wall with no light coming through. So we use straw bales as a renewable source of insulation. This is our third winter that we're approaching to use the greenhouse. So um, some of the straw bales have already started to decompose and we've taken those out. So you can see the north wall right there. We'll be replacing those with fresh bales here pretty soon. Those partially decomposed bales we're taking out and using them, we'll be using them over the next year on our farm so they don't go to waste. We also, in building this um, greenhouse, we're trying to allow for enough ventilation. So we have the doors that we can open. We have some vents built into the north wall, two automatic vents that will open when it gets to be, um, I think it's over 70 degrees, those automatically open and then they close back up again when the temperature begins to drop. Those vents by themselves would not be nearly enough ventilation. We have to include doors, windows, and then in our original design, we actually rolled back the top of the roof to allow for greater ventilation. The problem with that design is that once we started rolling back the roof and rolling it up again and back and up, that we weren't able to get a really tight fit, a tight seal there anymore. And so by our second winter, um, I noticed a small but, but definite um, loss or increase in, in heat loss at night. So we're redesigning that this year um, in order to have a tight fit again on, on all sides.